Tata Mowi Gai, Oki. With the plight of Oscar season still continuing, Lady Bird is the latest film that is going to hit UK cinemas this weekend on Friday the 16th, and it's Greta Gerwig's directorial debut, the 100% fresh film that was, well, fresh for ages, is now down to 99% because there was too much negativity. Can a film really be that good? Can a film be that fresh? Is Lady Bird that good? I don't know. Well, I know now. But what I'm trying to say is, I, <laughs> at London Film Festival this year, I had the opportunity to go to the secret screening of Lady Bird, but I declined because I went to see Suspiria in a 4K restoration, which was beautiful and magnificent and it changed my life it didn't really but it was that good and I felt mm, I felt kind of trepid and not going to see Lady Bird originally and it has taken this long even though I am making this video in January but the film comes out in February so I'm prepared for you the people a brief synopsis of it is that it follows the story of Lady Bird who it, well, it's not really her real name, played by Saoirse Ronan, and it follows her senior year in high school in Sacramento during 2002. She has a love-hate relationship with her mother, played by, by Laurie Metcalf, and she's just trying to find, find herself in the world and trying to establish where she wants to be in life. Greta Gerwig has created a very good coming-of-age film, in my opinion, and I have weird hints of Ghost World in this film, and if you don't know Ghost World, it's one of my favourite coming-of-age films, and if you haven't seen it, please see it. I feel like this has come a lot from Gerwig's personal life, and I think writers can only write such emotional core films like this if it comes from personal experience, and I feel like Gerwig actually went through the process, as does Lady Bird, played by Saoirse Ronan. I see why she has been nominated for Best Original Screenplay, Best Director, and the best film for this, Anzor Sharona has been nominated, and Laurie Metcalf was nominated also. I can see why this film is very popular and why it's so good. I had a personal connection with it. I, in high school, I was a very oddball kind of kid, and I didn't really know my grounding, and that's why I make YouTube videos now rather than working on a building site. And I feel like there's a good rapport between me and Lady Bird, and that's one thing I really enjoyed about it. Aesthetically, though, I feel like it wasn't a very different kind of film, it's very the same kind of long takes and fluid camera shots, a lot of static scenery as well when we've got head-to-head -head dialogue between Metcalf and Saoirse Ronan, and all in all, it's a very solid debut from Greta Gerwig and it's very good to see that she actually has been nominated for oh, Best Director for this. I think maybe is she like the sixth female director ever to be nominated for a best director now which is ridiculous against I think it's 444 men that's insane but Gerwig really has provided a very good interesting story as for the cast itself it's a very strong cast you have Sasha Ronan, Laurie Metcalf, Timothy Chalamet, you have Lucas Hedges three very good young and upcoming actors and actresses that I am very excited to see more of. Lucas Hedges' relationship with Saoirse Ronan in this film feels very good. It worked very well, but obviously there's a twist in it. And then Timothy Chalamet, obviously of Call Me By Your Name fame, he has also stood out in this film. And again, I'm very excited to see more of their future work. I feel like it is Saoirse Ronan's best film. I have yet to see Brooklyn, which was originally nominated for uh, Best Actress. So... Sosha has just been going from strength to strength and it's always good to see someone flourish as much as she has. I feel like it was, for a 92 minute film, I feel like it was very fast, it was it felt very natural. None of the scenery felt forced, it felt like you were in this actual world. Obviously it's post 9-11 and things are slightly different in America so you can feel that undertone on it so that was actually very interesting. and. It just I just really enjoyed the kinetic energy between all the cast and you just I generally felt like it was just watching real life and it felt like a documentary film rather than a a movie. And that is what Grow Week did very so well, but as I've said, the aesthetic is something that I was just a bit hesitant about as I just felt like it didn't really give much to me. But as all in all, very good cast, very good screenplay. 
very natural film and a very good coming of age film. If you guys fancy something different, something uplifting, something very different, something you can connect with, please go watch Lady Bird this weekend. It's out in most UK cinemas. Highly recommended. Obviously the BAFTAs this week this weekend as well, so we're gonna find out what's going on. I'll be live tweeting as the night goes by. So guys, have you seen Ladybird? Let me know what you think. Comment below, talk to me. I like to talk to people. Everything else social media wise is below everything. Just go on my letterbox, whatever you want. You control me, I don't really care. And there we go guys. Dioch danke, obrigado, merci, gracias, merci beaucoup, arigato, all the thank yous. Dioch, dioch, dioch. And I will see you on Twitter for the BAFTAs. Oh yeah.